Let's look at the auto tasks that Realty Juggler real estate software creates automatically for listings. Realty Juggler is specifically designed for real estate. So when I add a lockbox, set up a yard sign, throw an open house, or close on a property, the software will automatically add the appropriate tasks I am going to need. I'll go to my listings database and click on the New Listing button at the top of the screen. Next, I'll click on the First Name field and select Look Up Contact from the drop-down menu that appears. This will allow me to link a contact record to my listing. I'll click on the Tasks tab on the left and see what auto tasks I have. I need to get a key for my seller. That makes sense. I'll check that off. I need to install a lockbox. There's no checkbox here. That's because I have to assign a lockbox to this property. So I'll click on the body of the task, scroll down to lockbox number, look up my existing lockboxes, and pick one. Okay, now I have assigned my lockbox. Let's go back to the Tasks tab. The seller needs to sign the listing agreement document and sign the agency agreement document. I'll check those tasks off. Next, I'll schedule a flyer promotion by clicking on the Promotions tab on the left and click on the New Promotion button at the top. I'll change the promotion type to Flyer, enter promotion date, quantity, as well as an expense amount. I'll click on the Tasks tab and click on the Put Up Sign task. That will take me to the Sign tab where I'll enter the date when the sign went up. Now that I have those flyers, I can put them in the flyer box and enter how many I put in that box and how often I should refill the box. If I pay someone to put up the sign, I can enter that amount here. In my case, I put the sign up myself. Let's go back to the Tasks tab again, and you'll see that there's a new task, Check Brochure Box. The old task, putting up the sign, is gone. There's also a new automatic task, Enter Listing Agreement Date, and a second task asking me to enter the expire date for the listing agreement document. There's no check mark, which means I have to click on the text of the task and enter some information. I'll click on that task row and enter the list date and expire date here. Since that's an important date, I'll add it to my calendar by clicking on the blue drop-down arrow. I'll click on the Return button at the top of the screen to go back to the Tasks tab. Let's click on the Schedule Photos Promotion task. I'll enter a description and date that the photos will be taken. And I'll add it to my calendar. I can also enter the cost and add that to my expenses. And I'll enter a vendor name. If I click on the double arrow to the right of the date, I can enter a duration. I'll click on the Return button and then click on the Tasks tab on the left. Now I have only two tasks left, one to check that brochure box and a reminder for when the listing agreement expires. Since the remaining tasks are far into the future, I am done. Additional information on auto tasks can be found by watching video tutorial 39.